Greetings, Couch Potatoes. Welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4 with your host, Dude Long Couch. So, to bring you up to speed and what I have accomplished in the interim, <laughs> not a whole lot. I've been trying to figure out the whole electricity thing, and it's, uh... Nice being on the move again. Fewer paper cuts than back home. Oh, cool. Thanks, Piper. Uh, yeah, on one hand, it's kind of simple, but on the other hand, it's also kind of complicated. I'll explain what I mean. I mean, for one thing, I've pretty much got the roof set up the way I want it. I've got all the uh, lattices laid out the same way, which pleases me greatly. And I've got some really nice defense turrets set up here on each corner. Those are uh, the advanced turret model. They're not like laser turrets or anything, but they seem pretty damn good. And each one gives me eight defense. So I have 58 defense on the base in total now, which seems really, really good. I shouldn't need to worry about it for a while. Now in here, I've got a little living room set up, a couch and a TV. This is the longest couch you can make, uh, at least that I have available to me. So, you know, I did as best I could as far as the long couch goes. <laughs> Over here we've got a little bathroom area. And on this side is my bedroom. With all the stuff that I made in that, you know, prefab over there, I've got my food stored in the cooler here, a little table for it. It's a box with random shit and a dresser for my clothes, a bed and a lamp. Now, I uh, was trying to get a door set up for these areas, these segregated rooms, like an actual like wall here with a door that you could walk in for privacy purposes, like when I'm banging a chick on my bed. I don't want somebody to just be able to walk in and be like, hey, what's going on in here? Unless they want to join, but that's neither here nor there. Yeah, same with the toilet, too. It's just kind of sitting here in the corner. Uh, I tried everything I could, guys. There is no possible way to make a door inside of this structure. I actually took down the whole left side of this thing and tried to, like, build it internally as, like, the outer wall and then add on to it later. But when you stick the piece that has the door in here, it actually, like, uh, it makes the, the floor jut out because it actually, like, sticks right to the edge. And then you can't place the floor flush with the other piece of the floor. You have to stick it out further. And it fucks with the length of the walls. There was a big crack in the wall there originally, which would have let, you know, the breeze blow over me when I was sleeping, which is fine. Except for, like, in wintertime when it would have been really cold and bugs would have been coming in and shit like that. I also just noticed that these walls aren't really flush, so I'm going to try and fix this right now. These don't really snap too, so it's kind of a eyeball game, eyeball and finesse. You can't really... Using the triggers on the 360 pad is not an, an exact science. <laughs> trying to get it just right. Of course, now I've gone and fucked it up to the point where it's not going to let me put it back down, so that's unfortunate. Every, everything about this whole building thing is just like some of it goes super simple and some of it you can just tear your hair out trying to get it right when it should be really simple it should let me drop it down right here there's no reason not to but the fucking thing just doesn't want to work with me uh, okay you know what we'll deal with that later <laughs> This is the problem with trying to do a let's play on this. Oh look, it's it does snap to that piece. That's interesting. I, think it's safe to say I wonder if I pull it out and they decided to go take it. Kind of try to I know I wouldn't want to be in their way. Just want to line it up. With the cracks in the floor. They made it out in one piece. Presumably. It won't even let me set it down. When it's lined up right, it won't let me set it down. Who knows? Maybe now they'll be moving. I don't understand. Alright, well, we'll deal with that later. So, electricity. Wow. Okay, so you can see I've got lights set up all around the perimeter on the walls here. There's different kinds of lights. There's industrial lights. I think that's what they were called. Ah, for fuck's sake. I still haven't gotten used to that. The fact that you can't be centered on something if you want to actually navigate this menu. Yeah, so there's industrial wall lights and then regular-ass light bulbs. I put a regular light bulb up here and a lamp by my bed. And industrial lights all around the wall. I think these actually look a little better. I like them more than the, the light hanging from the ceiling. And as far as getting them power, so here's what I've ascertained so far. Obviously, power starts from the generator. And then in order to power up things like lights, I mean, for something like, uh, like these floodlights here, you can run a cable directly to them, and that supplies them with power. But for these, you know, indoor, regular-ass lights... 
you can't actually run a cable to them. They have to be supplied by either a conduit, which is this guy right here, or a pylon, of which there are a couple different kinds. We've got... they're all under connectors and switches. And... I found that the large pylons are the best ones to use. I've actually got two of them in the bank right now because I was using them originally on this structure. I had like one on each corner. You run a line from the generator to the pylon, and then basically any light that is like within the range of that thing will automatically receive power. It's really weird, but if you actually pick up the conduit, and the conduits and the pylons work the exact same way. The conduits are just a lot smaller and you can stick them on walls or roofs or ceilings. But in any case, if we take this and move it back, you can actually see that light bulb on the roof. It goes in and out. Once you get within range, it just automatically gets power from the conduit. So I had to use one on the wall here, and then I put one up on the center roof right here. And between those two, it actually powers everything I've got going here. The other thing that I installed is a switch, which is also... Uh, was a little complicated to figure out. Basically, you run a copper wire from the generator to the switch, and then once you're in regular mode, you can actually just walk up and turn it off and on. And as you can see, it bas you basically have to put it in line between that and the conduits, and any conduits it's connected to will just be switched on and off when you hit that. I wanted to have a light switch available as soon as I walk in. I think that's a really neat touch. Even though I'll probably just pretty much always leave it on anyway. <laughs> the one thing that sucks is that these lines, these uh, power lines, are just kind of like all up in your grill. And I haven't really figured out a good way to get rid of them or like hide them. They're just kind of here. And I guess it just comes down to how you design everything. If you can, I don't know, maybe put like the switch on the outside and stick the conduit back here. That way there's not a line running right through your bedroom. But then it's also really tricky because these lines won't just go through anything. They definitely don't go through walls, and they only sometimes go through the roofs. It's kind of a pain in the ass. You can see that if I pick up this generator and try to move it around, here is no good. Here is just fine. Here, no good. Here, just fine. <laughs> so I... You kind of have to leave them in like a really precarious spot, and I don't know how that's going to work out. I've got this generator powering this other floodlight over here, and then this one's running off the original one that I made. It's also powering the radio beacon. So it's really complicated, and it's going to take a long time to figure out exactly how to get everything set up so that it doesn't look assy, but everything's also working. What I wanted to do in this video is try and get some work done on the second story, I'm going to try to stick to my original plan. I, I don't know if this is going to work out great or not, because it's going to be a huge pain in the ass. Um, hopefully this makes for decent viewing, sorry. <laughs> if you don't want to see uh, me building shit and tearing my hair out trying to figure everything out, then we'll get back to the regular stuff tomorrow. But for now, I'm actually having a really good time getting, uh, you know, familiarized with the whole base building concept and trying to, like, figure out how this shit works, building my uh, structure the way I want it. So, oh, one other thing that I should point out, I also figured out that for some reason, you can expand the floor over the base structure. So I've actually got like a little, I don't know what you'd call it, like a, it's not really a balcony, but like a, like an overextension of the, the second story floor, which I think is really good for placing turrets up on and things like that. And having like storage space if I have to put a pylon or a generator I can at least leave them like on the corner actually let's see if I move this up here nope that's not gonna cut it so I'm gonna have to figure out how to rework the power to the to the front door that's you know governing the lights and everything because that that structure right there is not gonna cut it but for now what I'm gonna try to do is make a second story uh, enclosure. This is going to be like the area, like the kind of like the rest area, like the safe zone for my settlers. I have no idea if, if it'll actually work like this, but this is how I want it to work. Um, is it going to let me... Oh wow, it actually let me stick that there. 
I didn't think that would happen with the power line right there. So it seems like when you're attaching walls to each other, they will snap, which is quite useful. Except this one, I'm trying to snap it to the corner, and it doesn't seem to want to do that. You son of a bitch. <laughs> no, it's not where you're supposed to go. What if I had to turn this way? Are you fucking kidding me? Why is this happening? <laughs> um, you know what, I gotta figure this out. The stairs lead up here. There's gotta be a way to come around. And... Get to another stairwell. Let's extend this wall right here. Is this actually lined up? I kinda had to eyeball it. It's close. It's not perfect. It's a little skewed. Fuck. I really wish it would snap to the actual lines on the floor. That would make a lot of sense. Maybe, you know what? Let's try... If I stick it here, will it snap to the outer edge? It does. I bet you what I can then do is use that for alignment. If it'll actually let me do that. It's going to be a bitch about it, though. <laughs> That's the problem. Alright, let's stick this guy here. Folks, I'd, I'd like to take a moment for something a little more... Alright, snap. Snap! Damn it! As I'm sure you it won't know let me well. fucking I make a corner. It's pissing me off. Hmm, hey, there were actually corners in here, weren't there? The Is that under roofs? Friend. I've decided to change how I look no. at things, how I live my life. I'd like to just take this opportunity Is it to under thank walls? the for lending me a hand. Corners. I, really do I haven't actually things. fucked with these all that much yet. All right. What kind of corner do <laughs> we want? That's enough sentiment from me for one day. Let's get it all right, so we've got you, these ones. Next is worry, worry, worry by the Got side. all these here. Um, this might be decent. Let me see if it'll let me actually stick it. Well, I guess I have to get this thing out of the way. Hold on. Come over there. <laughs> it only wants to go out the other way. I want an enclosure in here. I don't want a fucking corner extending out that way. That doesn't make any sense. This just feels so ass backwards. So, yeah, I think I figured out in the last video that, that this is meant to be like an extension. Like, to actually expand an area, not to enclose one in. Man, there should be a way to like reverse it, though. What about something like this? It's not even the right size. Oh, and you may notice I've also got the radio playing, because I wanted some background noise. <laughs> you know, it's fun to listen to music when you're doing some construction work. Well, this has already proven to be a much bigger pain in the ass than I anticipated it would be. Hmm. I might just have to leave one of these open. I, mean, I guess it would be good, if I think about it, we need to be able to walk out here to, you know get involved in firefights and maybe like repair the turret if that were to get broken so we can't have this closed off completely anyway oh man how do we want to do this I'll tell you what let's grab this guy set him right there then when we come up we have easy access right here this turret is in defense mode. We should probably have another wall extending a little bit farther out. I'm trying to be consistent and use the same type of walls everywhere. It's uh, this kind. It's the kind that I've chosen. Alright, so we've got that. And then... Can we put a couple more... Right here, right there, for defense purposes. 
probably want to leave that this corner open but we should have nope I'll do that we should have some kind of defense mechanism here so if we go to defense we can build I haven't messed with the traps at all that seems like uh, advanced techniques that I'm not ready for yet <laughs> we could put we don't want an actual full-size guard post here I think we just want one of these guys right behind the turret and now we have some cover if we have to come up here and take care of business. Let's move it over just a little bit. Yeah. That's good. Okay. So let's keep uh, doing that. I think I actually like the way this is coming together here against all odds. I didn't really plan a whole lot of this out ahead of time, guys. I'm just flying by the seat of my pants here. I don't know what that means. I know what the phrase means. I don't know why it exists. I don't know how it came into that meaning. <laughs> it's kind of a weird thing to say. Right, balls. And... We want them to snap in place. There we go. Let's go to this side. It almost seems like you should really take care of all the structural stuff before you start fucking around with uh, electricity because you're going to have to plan your electricity around the structure. But it, it also is a pain in the ass. Like, to run a line through a roof, it doesn't always work just like right off the bat like in one instance when I had the pylons over here I actually had to remove the square of the roof run the line and then put the roof back down on it and that was the only way I could get it to work which was really weird so all right this looks a little assy uh let's see how do we want to rig this up well this should be up farther right there and then we'll want another wall Right about there. And how do we want to connect this? We probably want to... Hmm. All right, you know what? Let's just... Let's just get rid of this for now. I hope that also automatically stored all of my copper wire. Because copper is very hard to come by, and it uses copper every time you run a power line. So I hope that it stored that and didn't just, like trash it <laughs> right, now here's another one of those, those examples where I'd really love to snap that in there we go this spot here is going to be trouble why won't this work is it because of this is this thing too close i move it over just a little bit Look at this bullshit. This should be like such a natural thing to just connect these two pieces right here. I really can't figure out the rules for this stuff. It's just like... It doesn't make any sense. Uh, we'll leave that open for now. So, man, this is getting real complicated, but also fun. We not, So what we want is another stairwell going up to a third level that's under wood floors i think it was in here wasn't it did i go right past it yes i did okay and on this one let's stick it right on this square here i guess because we want to come up like as close to the middle of the compound as possible But yet again, we have a scenario where it doesn't really want to snap into place flush with the other pieces. Let's 
it's actually kind of hard to make out the, the like delineation right here. Mm, okay, you know what I just realized? I need to take out that piece of floor. It doesn't. That's right. It doesn't sit on top of these. It actually becomes the floor. Please let me do this. Oh, swivel. This way. Yes, yes, beautiful, beautiful. That's what we want. Oh boy. <laughs> um, let's see. Where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? We should go straight to the next floor. Now, at this point, I think we want to actually use the roof option instead of the upper floor option. I don't know if this has different rules for snapping or how it's going to work. If I put that there. Okay, so it snaps to the top of the walls. That's cool. Wait a second, this has to follow the rules too. It does have slats, they're hard to make out, but they're there. <laughs> Let's do it right the first time, then we don't have to worry about it later. Alright, so we'll keep this going the whole way around. This is honestly just really satisfying right here. <laughs> Seeing it all come together. We are chewing through wood and steel, but this is like our ultimate base, guys. I just hope that I actually get to use it for something. Uh, do we want a piece of roof here? Yeah, I think we do. And of course, we can always make alterations and fixes as we go. The nice thing is that, like, once you build a piece, if you if it turns out that you fucked up, you can always store it and use it again later. You can also scrap it and get the parts back to use on something else, but I found that you don't get as much back as what you used originally to create it. So it's way better to just store it, and then you can use it again later at any time without any cost. And I just leveled up from building this base. Fuck yes. <laughs> All right. Before I forget about that, let's take a look. Oh boy. Um, what do I want to go with? You know what? This is going to be kind of a throwaway point. I haven't thrown anything into strong back yet, and I think I should. Because obviously encumbrance has been a big problem for me. And I want to start getting some of these done. So this one gave us plus 25 to carry weight. That's kind of weak sauce, actually. But the next one is 50. And then, when over-encumbered, you can use action points to run. And the last one is when over-encumbered, you can fast travel. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Okay. So we've got the roof done. We've got the third floor pretty much ready to roll. i got to figure out... There's, there still needs to be a wall here. There's no reason for this to be open. This makes sense. This is a, an engagement point. I can't get this thing oriented the way I wanted. <laughs> it's kind of pissing me off. Um, hmm. You know, my original plan was actually to have this, this whole floor completely closed off. Because I want, I wonder if I can build like another internal thing.
put like a turret or something in there, but I don't want to. Okay, so if I move this, that snaps in. Why is it like this? I don't understand. <laughs> if anybody has any insight about this particular problem right here, please let me know, because this is, this is fucking infuriating. Alright, so I gotta figure out... I kinda want, like, uh... More turrets up here. Actually, I don't know if they would even reach that far. I don't, I don't know what the range on them is. Having turrets up here might be a huge waste. point of a spike pole it uses skulls <laughs> okay hold on <laughs> is this like a like a don't fuck with me kind of structure like yeah come at me bro look at these skulls these are the skulls of the people i've murdered we're gonna stick them right here on the corners if we can what the hell was it gonna float in the air Oh, they're really tall. Interesting. Okay. I'm actually going to have to go around and find some more steel pretty soon. But no, what we want... I have to find it. There's a... I know that there's an item you can build. It's like a bell that brings everybody in your sanctuary to you so that you can assign them to places. I just have to figure out where it is. Spiked pole. Yeah, it's not under there. I don't know why I keep looking there. Would it be under... Defense, maybe? No. Resources. Miscellaneous. Bell. There it is. Uh, ring to gather nearby settlers. Alright, it's a little bit of wood, a little bit of steel. We should put this right here. So that's always easily accessible. Avengers assemble! Everybody get the fuck over here. I'm gonna give you jobs. What's up, nice Sturgis? Job with those defenses. I've got nothing else I need right now. I think Preston may want to chat though. Uh, Preston can eat my ass. I'm busy. Need something? Alright, you. I just need to trade gear with you. Oh, what? Oh, wow, she's got stuff. Uh, you can keep all that stuff. You two... Here we go. Command. You take that one. Trash can Carla, can I assign you to places? No, I can't. Marcy Long, you should be doing food. Uh, June Long... This is kind of a huge pain in the ass. I wonder if I can target them from up top. June Log, you take this one. Did you get that? Okay, it says he's assigned. Good. Alright, who else do we got? Piper, can you be assigned? No, she's a companion. Sturges, I know I put you on one a long time ago, but I've never seen you on it, so I'm going to assign you to one up here. So I'm going to assign you to this one. Alright, Sturges is on that one. Who else do we got? Marcy, Sturges. That was 
Billy Holiday. Is that everybody? That wasn't eight people. Where the fuck is everybody else? Well, that's just... That's just disappointing. <laughs> hey, who are you? Random settler, alright? We're gonna stick you on this guy. Resource signs. And now we only need one more for the one in that corner, but I don't really see anybody else. Ah, whatever, that's good for now. Go ahead and turn my lights on. Oh shit, I took the generator out. <laughs> ah, I forgot about that. Tell you what, we'll go ahead and stick it right down here. Son of a bitch. Bam. Oh, it's turned off, though. What the hell is this? And it took out the conduit I had up there for some reason. Alright, it's okay, we can fix that. The thing about conduits is there's three different kinds. There's uh, ones that go, I, as far as I can tell, these ones go on the floor, these ones go on the wall, and these ones go on the roof. They're all different types. I don't know why they didn't just make one, make them work everywhere, but whatever. It's actually quite hard to see in here. Let's get this shit wired up. Run a line to you. All right, there we go. We've got all of our lights, except for these ones. Why aren't these working now? Maybe I have to move this back a little bit. Yeah, there we go. You've got to get them situated just so. But all my lights should be good now. Yes. And also, guys, I built a bobblehead stand back here in the corner. These are the five bobbleheads I've found so far. That's really cool. <laughs> I gotta bring my magazine rack from Sanctuary, or from Diamond City in here. I don't know if I'm actually gonna end up using that house in there for anything. I spent 2,000 fucking caps on it. And now it's just like... <laughs> I don't really want to use it, because I have this in here. Alright, we've gotta get some lights in here. Because... It's quite dark. And I gotta make some executive decisions here and figure out exactly how I'm gonna structure the rest of this. As far as, like, I don't know if I put turrets up here if that'll work. Or if I just want to have barricades and watchtowers. I'm also starting to run a little short on, um, like, wood and steel. I've been just tearing through it. One thing, we're definitely going to want some guard posts up here. That much we know for sure. Do we want... Probably want the big ones, right? Give us as much high ground advantage as possible. I think we'll put these in, like, directly in the corner, and then we'll flank each side with turrets. That way they're a little lower, and hopefully they'll be more accurate and get more shots in on whoever decides to come at us. I would actually like to, instead of doing, like, automatic turrets... Um, I think I'm going to wait and do, like, some shotgun turrets or laser turrets, but I don't think I can actually make any of those right now. The heavy machine gun turrets are what we have on the second floor. Laser turrets require a lot of stuff, so they must be pretty damn good. <laughs> they also require power, so that's going to be a huge pain in the ass. Good news is, though, I think if I put pylons up here, if I put one on, like, each side... They would probably power all the lights on the second floor. And I could use them to power up these turrets. The problem is, just one of these takes five aluminum. I can only make two right now. They take fiber optics and screws, a lot of, like, rare stuff. And a shotgun turret, uh, I can't even make because it requires gun nut rank too. So I'll tell you what, for now, we'll stick these... 
right here. And now I can tag this for research. And I should be able to easily find anything that has aluminum screws and fiber optics. That's the stuff I definitely need. And I already have some pylons made up. So I will go ahead and stick some of those up here. If I can find them. <laughs> the large ones. These guys uh, have a much better range I found than the smaller ones. I don't really see any reason to go with the smaller ones. Unless you're just making like a really small structure somewhere. And then, let's see. These require two power each. That's the other thing about lights, in case you guys didn't know. Uh, all the lights require power, but they don't like... They don't have a, a power unit requirement. Like, so it works the same with the pylons. If you look at it, it just says that it requires power. All that means is that it has to be connected to a generator, but it doesn't actually take any resources from the generator. Unlike the turrets here, which require two. So, if you look at the generators, a small one has three power, medium has five, large one has ten. So, the turrets will definitely take juice from your generator. And I can't even make any of these right now because I don't have enough screws or aluminum. I can make a small one. why maybe it's not close enough I'll bring them in a little closer let's just string these up everywhere for now So that's pretty much how electricity works, as far as I have come to understand it. Um, I might make a couple more modifications off camera as far as just like getting this shit organized. I can't do too much more right now until I go out and gather some more resources. So this is going to be the last building video for a little while. We'll get back to adventuring in the next part. Probably go do some more uh, Brotherhood of Steel stuff. I don't know how many more fetch quests I have for those two. Uh, people, Reese and Halen, but I just, I want to clear them out because I'm getting good XP for them. So, yeah. I, I kind of wish I could test these out. That would be a really cool feature if you could, like, say, like, spawn a, a test enemy down there, like a, a crash test dummy or something, and then move them in and out of range and see how far these things can actually shoot. I don't know. In the meantime, I should actually probably power this up. Why did that not work? Oh, because... Wait a minute. So, I w maybe these pylons actually do take one unit of power. I've got two of them rigged up. Maybe that's why it wouldn't power... Let's take that off for a second. And try and run this over. No. 
I think it's, I think this thing's just in the way. You notice the wire was red. What a fucking pain in the ass. Actually, you know what I could do? Here's another trick. I'm glad I just thought of this. So, you can actually create, like, power grids with all the stuff in this game. Instead of having to run everything directly from a generator to whatever you're trying to power, you can daisy-chain other things that are connected to the generator. I'm pretty sure this will work. So if we go from the pylon to that, bam, powered up. Awesome. So, yeah, you can just kind of daisy-chain it with the pylons and pretty much anything else that's connected. I think if, if that generator had enough power, we could actually run a line from this turret over to this turret, and that would work too. Uh, unfortunately, it, we just don't have enough power to do that. So, we've at least got one of those working right now, and our defense is up to 70. So that is damn good. Happiness is at 79. Hopefully we'll continue to get more people in here. Um, I guess that's going to do it for now. I don't really know what else I can do with the resources that I have. This is the point where I would try to be, like, really pimping out the defenses, getting everything set up exactly right. But... I'm going to have to go out and find more stuff to make the turrets that I want to make. <laughs> and I guess we're just going to have this big gaping hole right here. This is stupid. And it really pisses me off. I'll try to figure that out at some point. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys, like, the basics of what I have going on here and what I figured out with power. I'm going to continue to do this stuff off camera. Um, and I'll show you the finished product, you know, anything cool that I figure out and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's where I'm at now. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I appreciate the support. When we come back, like I said, we'll get back to adventuring and get some more stuff done for the Brotherhood. So look forward to that. Uh, thanks again, guys. I appreciate it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.